This is a Dodge Ram uh, pickup truck and I'll show you how I installed an Icon mobile radio into this truck. And I'll start with uh, radio location. I use this uh, little tray here. Uh, this is a newer model, probably 2022, 2023, it's a brand new truck. So we are in uh, March 2023. I'm not sure what model is this one, let's check. Uh, no idea, no idea what car is this one. Something. I'm not uh, really into trucks, pickup trucks like that, so I have no idea what uh, models I, those I'm working on. So there is a little tray here. I mounted the radio there, uh, sometimes I use this area, sometimes I use this storage box here, sometimes uh, I use the surface on the top on the dashboard, I installed a bunch of uh, four trucks on top of the dashboard by uh, customer request. The weirdest one was when the customer insisted to have the radio right here. So I always look for safety, making sure this thing is not coming down and um, nothing is going to affect uh, driver safety. Otherwise, maybe I would use it right here, <laughs> just being sarcastic a bit. So in order to install the radio here, I just use the bracket, the radio bracket, I drilled the four holes using the uh, plastic type of screw. Uh, they are metal but uh, made for wood and plastic that comes with a radio kit. And I did not have to drill any holes. So under the tray, uh, this little rubber mat, uh, there are two holes and I uh, used that, those holes to insert the cables through and the uh, power connector and the antenna connector come at the back of the radio so it's a bit tight spot that's why the radio is not tilted uh, towards the driver but aesthetically it's not too bad here so I had to pull this trim out and I'll show you see the trim has two clips so it's easy to pull it out and you see I built a harness a wiring harness for the power and the antenna and the extra the ex excess of uh, antenna cable, I tuck it right here, so it's nothing is loose, nothing is going to fall. And um, the microphone uh, holder is right here with the two little screws that came with the radio radio kit. So the the holes are very small, maybe two millimeter holes for this clip. If the customer wants to remove the radio at some point it's easy to cover those little holes so it's nothing like uh, major uh, changes into this brand new truck and as you can see here you will see a, a wiring harness let me see if I can hold the phone with the other hand uh, I build this harness and I tie it to an existing harness so it's nothing in a way, nothing uh, pulling other wires and it comes from that grommet, the firewall grommet, the big fat one. I had to slice little, little opening on both sides and as you can see you won't see the cables hanging So that's inside and the antenna is here I could push the cable a little bit uh, closer to the antenna but the gap on, between the fender and the hood is larger here so it won't pinch it won't pinch the cable in the summertime when this one expand a bit and the vibration uh, I see often cables being damaged right here and once the plastic insulation is damaged the rain the water gets in is corroding the ground 
and you get poor performance so this is a custom made bracket that we get from a supplier this is that bracket I've used some extra screws here into the metal to better support this bracket when they go off-road or go bumpy roads so the flex of the antenna they won't won't get this on off the fender and that firewall grommet I thought to use some black silicone I might come back to use some black silicone where you see the red cable coming coming out so that's antenna and the power and I run the power cable through here the original two fuses I left it in the circuit I always leave it in a circuit and ground I connected the ground right here and I will show you the fuse location I'm using fuse adapters in case you are the first time on my channel 20 amp the original one is in this location is for the cigarette lighter uh, plug in the in the car which is accessory switched so it will power on only when you have the key in the ignition and this is the radio fuse the 10 amp fuse uh, some people use a relay uh, I've seen uh, installations using relay and I'm telling you that is nothing wrong with my way or their way I could use uh, chewing gum to attach the wire I could use super glue I can install the radio on the back of the pickup truck you know everyone is different but from my experience I never had a radio coming back with a blown fuse like that so it's a switch circuit with uh, true relays and it's it's reliable the fuse is not too big it's just 10 amp for the radio and I run it through here I installed the label indicating to the serviceman that this is a VHF radio fuse and I went through here it's not pinching this cable here I made a little split or slice in the plastic cover so the water still won't get in from the washing there is a gasket here and um, yeah that's a not very complicated installation just time consuming and uh, again just a quick shortcut for you so you don't have to dig around this is the location of your fuse I mean you can use any fuse if you like <laughs> depends you can use even the uh, computer engine or engine computer fuse but it won't be too smart I've seen people using the horn fuse yeah, that's not very really smart as well uh, you know people in this world trying to survive find happiness that's the main goal and in that search they sometimes they get crappy jobs or jobs they don't like and they don't put the passion in it and they just do crappy jobs uh, myself I love what they do and I dig I'm passionate to find good ways better ways and I share my passion to whoever want to use my experience my tips so those are my tips like I said you can install it you can put the radio right here <laughs> okay if you want to get rid of the customer so from worse to better but I'm still not the best I am quite sure there are people who do it even better talk to you later bye bye